நிச்சயம் ஆய்வாளர்கள் போட்டியில மிகப்பெரிய வெற்றி பெற்றது நம்முடைய காசு திருத்தப்பட்டிருக்கிறார்கள் சோ அவங்க ஒரு புதிய The first thing come to mind is a carry bag or plastic bag, right? But have you ever thought that wood material also can hold their blood, especially furniture material? Our aim of this experiment is to study the relationship between the type of wood material and the load needed to withstand the material. Our hypothesis is among six wood retested, only a load with the nine load. The objectives are simple refund bending machine and load with 1 kg, 500 grams. 200 gram and 100 gram the materials are bullion wood chingar wood berber wood branchy wood rubber wood and indian wood the manipulated variable is the type of wood material the responding variable is the load that it can reach that the constant variable is the length of wood width of wood thickness of wood portion of wood in the machine the portion of loading arm the weight of loading arm and the type of wood so this is the model that we have innovated we believe that the wood packer this is the simple refined bending machine This is the loading arm which is designed in an X like shape to apply force to break the wood when the load is added. This is the support arm to the loading arm or this is the loading roller for the movement and to supply even or distribution of it here. Above here is the loading basket for us to add the load. This is the base frame which includes a specimen holder for us to place the wood and a drawer for us to collect and remove the broken wood. This is the spring. It is to prevent the loading arm from touching the material. If there was no spring The loading arm will fall to the ground like this. So that's why we place the spring to hold the loading arm. We would only release the spring when the material is placed and ready to load. As the loading arm itself weighs one kg, which is ten newton, and why three point bending machine? This is because the material is supported by two points, point one and point two. The third point is right over here, which is subjected by a force to the load. Calculated the total mass of load into newton, which we follow the newton second law of motion. Which you multiply with the gravitational acceleration, which is 9.81 meter per second square. For easy calculation, we times mass with 10 meter per second square. Firstly, we place the bullion wood material in the specimen holder here. Then we release the spring and hold the loading arm because it also has a weight, which is 1 kg and newton. When ready to load, place the loading arm in the third part of the wood. Now let's start loading. This will be 1 kg of load. Do you know why the wood is bending? It's due to elasticity. The cell structure of wood allows the wood to stand for 13 degrees, and the wood overly stress will start to deform and break. Oh 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 oh! Where's the puppy? I heard the puppy sound. Correct sound. One kg, two kg, three. Eight point six. Eight point six kg. So we convert in newton by multiplying ten become eight six newton. Then we add 10 newton, which is the weight of the loading arm. Total load needed to withstand the bullion material is 96 newton. This method was repeated for another six times, and the average was calculated to get an accurate result. Let us show another demo using durian wood. Now, take out the spring, hold it, release the spring, release. hold it tightly with the edge. edge. Uh, now you can put the load inside. Now, Am I right? Let's start with 500 grams. 500 grams. There's an energy transformation during the test. Mm-hmm. Gravitational potential energy. Yeah, yeah. When the full la, when the 500 gram, 500 gram, full la. Because like now, if we add 500, 500 only, we don't know whether it breaks in one point, two, one point. Hmm. Oh my. Now let's count the load. 3.5, 3.6. Look, 3.6. Who knew that? Okay. 3.6 kg. We convert newton by one point ten. Then we add ten newton, which is the weight of the load. ஒரு 
please look at the visual structure for your easy understanding. This is cellulose and this is hemicellulose. The cellulose and hemicellulose bind up with a compound called lignin, which make the wood stronger and rigid. When the cell wall of wood get compact with more arrangement of lignin like these, the wood will become denser. So generally, denser the wood, higher the center and the higher the load leader. Please see the wood density results. Density is mass over volume which we calculate for all 7 trials. Belian shows the highest density in support our hypothesis. And this is the density result which we obtained from Forest Research Institute in Malaysia. It's also supporting our hypothesis. Uh, Belian wood is known as iron wood due to its durability and widely used for long houses in Sarawak. If the same long houses were built in durian wood, it may not withstand 100 people itself because the strength of durian wood is less. From this exper uh, experiment, we discovered that timber woods such as Belian Chengal is decreasing in production. In order to protect them and ensure their availability in future, we must use them wisely and reserve them for application required to withstand heavy loads and do not use for decorative item or light usages. At the same time, we must implement afforestation and reforestation to get an, a, a continuous supply of timber wood in the future. With that, thank you! Thank you! So, we have to do a lot of things. 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 We have to do a lot of